Hi folks, just an update on the cottage and the roof. Um, they came back yesterday and three of them spent all day doing stuff and I'd spent some of the week preparing some of the timbers with um, treating them for woodworm and getting the fascia boards um, painted up. So um, being busy and then here in Ireland the grass grows overnight so I'm doing quite a lot of mowing and I just thought I'd show you some of the outside. Um, this was a very reedy field um, which I mowed because I wanted to plant some trees and a bit of coppice. Woo! There goes Sam and Peggy Sue having their late afternoon walk and yeah so I needed to keep all those things down so that the um, trees actually grow and I can mulch around them so and <coughs> the chap that gave me the mulch actually brought me four bags of very decomposed wood chips which I'm going to use on the compost and hopefully end up using in the vegetable garden so um, it has been a stunning day today um, but it's sort of clouded over and I hear that they are actually going to we're going to have rain here tomorrow so this is where I planted um, 300 probably more basket willows and I think I've only lost one and um, it probably doesn't look brilliant on the video but they are really coming on great so they're several different varieties that grow in different lengths and widths so they're for different parts of the basket yeah and um here's a little hazel coppice here which is coming on lovely um and i mulched all around those as well so um i'm not too sure about my beech trees that i bought i think they're actually a couple of them are all three or four of them are dead <coughs> but plants are very expensive here um, so what I tend to do is mow patterns in the grass so um, and little pathways which is great because the dogs keep drier and I can walk up them and keep a bit drier and then you can look at what's happening around you and sort of see all the grasses the plantagos the dandelions, the marigolds, the, oh, so many different bits and pieces and it was full of butterflies today, it was absolutely wonderful. So um, yeah, so here we go. And this was my wiggly wobbly path, it wasn't supposed to be straight, I was going to put a fence up here um, just in case I got some sheep for this little bit, which I still might do but not at the moment got enough to do. So there's Sam, my lovely spaniel. The two oldies are over there. They haven't quite worked out why I'm speaking to my phone like this I think. Yeah so I've got, I've made a circle up here which will probably do a stone circle which is underneath the um, hawthorn tree and then off that I've mowed paths going into different directions. Um, one back to the little body, which is my morning sitting place. And then this one I cut today, I had to do some of my hands and knees because my poor mower didn't like the, the actual rushes here. So anyway, here we go. So alongside the pathway is lots of lovely Flowers. It's so pretty, it's so lovely, and the grasses. And here, two lovely sycamore trees, and they have been full of bees. So I'm um, really pleased. And that's the cottage. And you can see the rest of the roof. There's still a bit more to go around the back. Very kindly, they stuck the fascia boards up because I was going, would have struggled on my own because they're very long, over five metres long. Um, 
yeah, so that was that was good. And there's a pup of dogs over there. And this is my little bothy I did up and I made a door out of wood from old fire surrounds and made door frame, window frame and it's a beautiful place to sit and the swallows dart in and out of there. So yeah, unfortunately there's an awful lot of rubbish to clear up but I'll have to be on a mission when they finish doing their work. So um yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, it was quite a lot to do. So, um, I shall, oh, let me, no, I'm gonna take you inside just to show you what it looks like. When your roof is off, you have so much light flooding in, it's absolutely fantastic. But of course, that's all got to go back on again. So, um, it looks like a swimming pool in here. Um, yeah, you can see, and so there's just this sort of corner that hasn't been done. And I've still got to treat some of the woodworm inside as well, and that's the, the wall, and that's where the main, the range will be. And behind that wall will be the uh, cylinder, or they call hot press. And then I've got to make a new door frame to go in here. Yeah, and I've still got to take all the wood out of the surrounds of the, windows because they're full of woodworm and yeah so plenty to do and still another facial board to get coated tomorrow um yeah take care folks see you again bye